Don't put that Gorilla Glue in your head no more. That African doctor ain't gonna be able to save you next time. All right, begin. What's going on YouTube and welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a great start to your Monday morning. Let's go ahead and talk about Kelvin Hunter being messy all over the internet on yesterday. Well, specifically on his Instagram, all right? Now, as we all know, yesterday was Valentine's Day. So everybody that's booed up, they were just chilling and having a good time with their significant other and Kelvin wanted to join the festivities and he posted this picture. So the picture he posted, I was like, man, that could be somebody else. That probably isn't Sharina. But he later on confirmed that that was him and Sharina holding hands in the picture that he posted on Instagram. Let me read to you what Calvin said. So he says, Queen is slim, back at it again. LOL. Celebrate your queen, elevate your king, a bunch of emojis, and then he ends it with enjoy. So I'm like, all right, you know, this man is living his life post the Wendy era, and he's trying to move on. Wendy has moved on. A lot of people are not gonna like Kevin and they're not gonna respect the fact that he's posting this in regards to Sharina because of how he did Wendy. But okay, this man wants to live his life. He has the right to do so, right? Now, living his life is gonna come with some backlash because you know people are gonna be in the comments ready to check him. And Calvin had time yesterday because he was responding left and right to all the criticism that he was receiving in regards to that post. Now, the reason why I say that Calvin was being petty, because he knew what he posted was going to cause some friction, so he was ready to jump in the comments like this. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read to you all some of the backlash that Calvin received. Now, the last thing that I read, I want us to pay close attention to because Calvin actually confirmed something. All right. So let's go ahead and get it started. So one person says she is so ashamed of herself. She won't even post a pic of herself. We all know who the real queen is, Wendy. Then Calvin responded, when she does, you'll be madder. But thanks for your concern. And yes, she is a queen. God bless. Then another person says, OMG, bro, just cut the comments off and post. IG going to be your part time job. I'm sure it takes hours to respond to all of this. People are passionate about Wendy. If you're going to do a restaurant, do it and be a silent partner because, you know, the public going to tear them reviews up. The public is emotionally involved with Wendy, so if you like spending your days responding to comments instead of enjoying your life, so be it. Man, these comments got me laughing so hard. This is entertaining. So Calvin responded. He says, the public knows what it knows until it doesn't. Restaurant booked, head high, but I love you for caring. Nobody was there when I organized protests in front of Hot 97 18 years though after Puffy incident. Surely not you, but I get it. You're passionate about both of our hard work. I salute hate and love. I love you for watching. Not going to block or remove anyone. God bless. So another person said, you can't win when you play dirty. And Calvin responded. So the movie was a win. I'm confused. So I guess he was referring to Queen and Slim. You know, when he referenced that in the post where him and Sharina was holding hands. Then another person says, it's good you're living and enjoying your life. But the fact that you played Auntie Wendy for over 10 years and then made a baby, I mean, the world is going to be giving you guys the side eye as long as you're with Sharina, the mess of it all. So Calvin responded, I hear you. Truth conquers all. We're having a healthy debate based on what you really don't know. I won because I woke up this morning and no one was with us shooting in the gym. Take full accountability for my role and the failure of my union. Two sides, though. God bless. Then Miss Pam JG says, you didn't celebrate or protect your real queen. I really wish y'all could have made it, man. Thumbs down. So Kamisha said, so even your son knows about Sharina from an early age. Wow, I'm ready for the other half of the story. Hashtag juicy. But Kevin, you're still wrong. I already know your side will not serve you any justice whatsoever. It's good TV, though. And then Calvin responded and he said, that's your problem. It ain't for TV. It's real life. Shit. And when it goes down, it does. But you keep watching Lifetime and her and waiting for tea. 
I'm going to go on and live this life. Thanks for your concern. God bless. Now, I read this post earlier, right? This response from this young lady, but I didn't see this response from Calvin when I was going through the comments, right? So Gossip of the City caught this. I believe that Calvin deleted this before I saw it. So let me read this again. This young woman said, it's good you're living and enjoying your life, but the fact that you played Auntie Wendy for over 10 years and then made a baby, I mean, the world is going to be giving you guys the side eye as long as you're with Sharina, the mess of it all. So Kevin responded and said, yep, has so much respect for her that she helped save her son's life when his moms couldn't. But that's a different story. Real truth when I'm ready. Much respect to her, though. All right, so there was a rumor that was going around that Kevin Jr. had got into something and, you know, he gotten sick and things of that nature and Wendy was not there for him. And the rumor also was that Sharina was there in Wendy's place helping Kevin Jr. get back to health, nursing him back to health as if, you know, taking on the mama role, you know? And so Calvin is uplifting Sharina, right? And giving her the props that he feels that she deserves for being there during a rough spot and it should have been rough on both parents in regards to wendy and calvin but wendy wasn't there and so wendy put her show first she made sure that she was there for her show and you know everything else was secondary to her and so you know we got to keep it real and call wendy out for not being there for kevin jr you know there's an old saying that the show must go on but in this particular case the show should have went on without wendy and Wendy should have been by her son's side. Now, a lot of people seemed confused when Calvin said that Wendy wasn't there for her son, you know, and basically they felt that he was throwing shade, you know, to his own son. I didn't take it that way. This is how I took it. I took it as if, you know, Calvin was already there supporting his son when he was sick. Calvin was present as a parent. It was Wendy who wasn't there. So I think that what Calvin was doing was just placing the blame on Wendy because Wendy was the one that was absent and didn't support her son when her son needed her the most. So I don't think that Calvin was trying to pull himself out of the equation of being Kevin Jr.'s father. So I don't think that at all. But it is interesting that Kevin Jr. knew about Sharina and I wonder how much information did he tell Wendy, you know, in regards to the relationship between his father and Sharina, you know? And I know that Kevin Jr. had to resent Wendy for not being there for him, you know, while he was sick. He had to resent her, you know? And so maybe he didn't tell her anything. Maybe he didn't really care. He stayed out of it, stayed in a child's place. You know, grown folks is quick to tell children, hey, stay in a child's place, this grown folk business. So maybe that is what Kevin Jr. decided to do. And with that said, three things can be true at the same time, right? Wendy is at fault. Kelvin is at fault, right? And they both have the right to move on with their lives. Now, Calvin shouldn't expect to be just clean and breezy moving on social media every time he posts something in regards to Sharina. Even if it's something outside of Sharina, people are going to come and give their two cents of an opinion on his page. So he needs to expect that because Wendy has a very solid following. You know, people love Wendy. And so he needs to expect the backlash because of what he did. Now, I know I said that Wendy and Calvin are both at fault, but Calvin did the most dirt. I'm not trying to say that Wendy's dirt is to that magnitude, although I do fault her for not being by her son's side, right? But you have the side chick stepping up to the plate and doing what Wendy should have been doing, and that's being by her son's side and taking care of him. And so, yeah, it doesn't make it right that Sharina was driving around in Wendy's Ferrari and, you know, spending Wendy's money. No, no, I'm not saying that, but, you know, at least Sharina was there for wendy's son you know she didn't have to take on that responsibility but anyway i'm gonna let this go and let y'all have that in the comments drop down and let me know what you think about this entire situation don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and i'll get with you in the next video thanks for watching peace